Good morning. One of the viewers in the comments sort of asked me, uh, how, how high is my model table here? I guess he noticed that sometimes when I'm sitting at it, like right now, it looks like my, my chin is just almost on the table. Well, the, the table is about this much higher than a normal kitchen table. And, uh, and the reason for that is so that I can get down and not have to hunker over stuff. I've explained that before. Now, not only that, if I lower my, my, my chair, it, it has a travel of about this much, if I lower it all the way down, well, then, you know, the two come together. So that's why sometimes you, when you see me all hunkered down like this and it looks like I'm sitting on the floor, I'm not sitting on the floor. The table is extra high. I made it that way. Now, we did finish the boats yesterday and I am going to start on the aircraft today. At least that's the plan. I'm going to actually go downstairs and plug in the air hose and, uh, and get at it. I know there's going to be a lot of unhappiness about the way I did the panel line color yesterday on the boats, but I'm done. I'm not going to do anything more to them now. There, I just left them out there so you could see them. Uh, let's, let's roll back and see how we got to this place. Oh, by the way, uh, no sunrise again this morning. Now, when I say that, I didn't mean that the sun did not come up. I just mean we didn't see it. <laughs> okay, now, I realize that there's going to be some people that are not going to like this, but I think it looks better than it did before. They have quite the weathered look, you might say. And this is probably the most weathering I've ever done with the panel line uh, accent colors, at least best I can remember. And, um, yeah, they've got sort of a dark, sooty look. Like, I mean, this this was a, a, a steamboat. I think, I think it was coal burning, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah. So, it is what it is, folks. You know, that's, that's, that's the way it's going to be. And, uh, yeah... I'm kind of sorry now that I did not paint the the uh, tops of of this the same deck tan. I, I used the uh, I used that tester's paint if you remember. Uh, anyway, like I say, it is what it is, and <laughs> let's move on. I, you know what? We got to do the uh, the aircraft yet. Now, if you will remember yesterday. I was starting off using the the uh, 8K settings to uh, begin the episode, and uh, unbeknownst to me, the camera shut down. Now, what what it turns out is that this this camera has two memory cards. Okay, we'll call them number 158 and number 113 and number 158 it was in slot number one which is the which is the top one and 113 it was in slot number two which is the lower one and uh, and they're, they're just like really big SD cards and uh, Anyway, what, what, what happened was, I was, on, I was on slot number one. In other words, number 158. And uh, the, the camera cut out, and so I thought, well, maybe it's because I had the, the setting at its maximum. So I lowered it down a notch, and it still cut out. So later I got to thinking, well, maybe it's the, it's the slot gets hot. I never thought in terms that maybe it's, it's the card itself. I should have. But I didn't, and I I, uh, I I swapped them out, and when I swapped them out, 158 still didn't work when it was in the lower slot, but the the uh, the slot 113 it, or card 113 it did work in slot number one. So and I've done this three times now. Um, so I, like I've swapped them out. I I, sw I had them like the originally like this. <clears throat> I swapped them around, tried it, 
and I've swapped them back now and tried it. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I've I've had to, got the same problem. So I'm concluded that that uh, card number 158 is is got a problem. So from now on, I'm going to be recording on slot two. Uh, you know, it was kind of nice to be able to flip up and go over into the slot into the other one, but uh, especially when you're doing 8K, because uh, 8K at its at its maximum, one of these cards only lasts three minutes. Yeah, it uh, that 8K uses quite a bit of uh, data. <laughs> uh, anyway, I think I've solved the problem. Now I was listening to my clip here a few minutes later, and I was thinking to myself, I sure went to a lot of words just simply to say that one of the cards will work all the time, no matter which slot you put it in, and the other card will never work all the time, no matter which slot you put it in. Well, I've got a bit of a dilemma here. And that is this. Do I paint it by hand? Or do I use the airbrush? I'm just trying to envision here. Most of the viewing, in fact, all of the viewing is going to be looking down on it like this. Um, I'm just trying to see now if I was to bring the airbrush in at just the right angle, I should be able to get the top of this lower wing. You know, I could I could come in like this. Yeah, that that, that might work. I I know that the airbrush will do a will do a better job, and then maybe. Uh, you know, like where the where the cylinders are for the for the engine and so on. I'd want to paint them black, and the propeller probably some kind of brown because I think it was a wooden propeller, if I'm not mistaken. Or no, some somebody mentioned what color the propeller was. They actually saw one. Um, <clears throat> there's there's probably a few of these this this type of aircraft left. Uh, the Walrus. Um, there were, there was quite a few of them. So un yeah, undoubtedly, there's uh, you know I don't think anybody's using them anymore, but uh, <laughs> you never know, right? Um, anyway, I'm gonna leave that until uh, tomorrow. Now that big decision. So uh, yeah, it's getting late and I'm getting tired. So we'll see you in the morning. Now, I, I think it was Allison recommended that we could try this LP-11. And uh, my, my thinking is that, well, first of all, maybe I should explain. Right now, my thermometer is reading 0 0.2 Celsius outside. So that means we don't want to have the windows open. And uh, no, no uh, 0 0.2 Celsius, that would be like 32 Fahrenheit and a teensy weensy bit. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, it's, it's lacquer and it's gonna smell up the house. Uh, so I've got this here, this 16, which is which is very similar if you go by the the, the uh, cap. This is supposed to be an, uh, an XF aluminum, flat aluminum. And uh, I think I'm going to use this today on, on, the, on the plane. Um, you know, I, I would like to try this. I think that maybe I'll, I'll try it in the, in the summertime. Uh, but I don't have any lacquer thinner to, to speak of, uh, except for that Mr. Color stuff. Uh, and and that, I know that smells terrible. Well, by terrible, I mean strong. It's not that I can't handle the smell. It's just that uh, I, I just don't like it, as I said before. So we're going to use the, the XF-16 here. And also, I want to rig something up. I'm going to back the camera up and show you what I'm talking about here. Now, I've, I've, sort, of, I've sort of rigged something like this up here before, but uh, I'm going to do it again maybe a little better.
Okay, we're still sort of in the experimental stage here. But the idea is that when I get this to the height I want it, which I don't think I'd want it any lower than this, I can just sort of lock it in place here. Something like that. Okay, now, when I use my zoom lens here, and I'm pulled way back, well, you're going to see the whole area. But the idea is <clears throat> that when you when I zoom in as close as I can get, the the top of the frame will be just underneath this, okay? Then I will know that when I am holding whatever it is that I'm trying to spray in my hand, if if I hold it, you know, just just underneath this, it's going to be in the field of view here. At least that's the plan. Now, I, I know I did something like this about a year or so ago, maybe two years ago now. Um, and it, and it kind of worked. <laughs> because, now here's, here's the problem. I will often forget uh, that, you know, that, 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 that I'm zoomed right in on a small area. And I will slowly move whatever it is I'm, I'm spraying out of the field of view. And uh, now, now my problem will be to remember what this is all about. Oh, I got uh, CA glue on my finger here, I notice. Oh, we'll get that off. I used, I used uh, CA glue to freeze the knot. <laughs> okay, very careful here now, Ron. This is so fragile. Notice the little wheels underneath there? Okay. Okay, this is our first time opening this. My goodness. Okay. We got it. Um, but this is not the first time opening this. If you remember, we got this uh, paint retarder, oh, quite a while ago. And uh, my thinking is that being as I do not have any thinner left, this will act as a thinner as well as keeping the paint from drying too quickly on the on our little on our little airplane wings there. I, I think it, it might spray better. I'm, I'm hoping it will anyway. I am using the the uh, number 0.5 millimeter nozzle. Okay, I'm going to just shake this up now. Why do these rings keep falling out? Am I doing something wrong here? Okay. Alright, let's go shake this up and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, I wanted to cut that off nice and square and I think I more or less did. Now, Here's here's part of my dilemma. Now, wh when I paint this, I'm going to be wanting to manipulate it all around in almost every axis you can think of. And now I want to be careful when I turn this upside down that I I don't lay it on its on its back here because I might break the propeller off. Okay. So you'll notice that there's 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 the wheel wells here where where the wheels would normally fold up. For when it was uh, landing on the water and so on, and uh, at least hopefully they remembered to lift them up when they landed on the water. Occasionally that sort of thing happens and uh, the thing will nose over. Anyway, uh, why don't I glue this this in, in the wheel well where it's not going to be seen anyway because the, the airplane is going to be viewed, as I've mentioned several times, from this angle here. We're not going to see if, the, if this marks a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to use the quick setting here so we don't have to wait all day. And, and probably within about 10 minutes from right now, we should be able to put on the uh, latex gloves. Okay. Now, how am I going to lay this down so that it... Uh, doesn't break the propeller. I'll think of something. Hmm. 
And I want to sort of create a bit of a sprue goo. Let's get this out of the way before I spill it. Maybe I should have the macro lens on for this. It does not seem to want to meld very good. I'll give it some more here. Did I get the wrong one? No, I got the, for a minute there. I thought maybe I had the uh, the paint retarder. Yeah, is it is it slumping? I don't think so. No, let's just leave that now for a few minutes and see what happens. Okay, it did slump over almost to the wheel. Now, is this a bubble or is this molten plastic? That's a bubble. Okay, now you know why that happened? Because I uh, used the uh, heat gun trying to rush things a few minutes ago and I guess the uh, the gases in the glue expanded and formed a bubble. Yeah, I, I was curious about that because I thought, my goodness, did it ever... Uh... Anyway, we'll give it another couple of minutes here. If you will remember, yesterday I said we put out the last carrot. Well, we did. So today we've got to put out the real rabbit food. But uh, the rabbits don't seem to like it very much. Anyway, I have set the motion sensor on the camera here, and we'll see what comes by. But we're going to have to see what comes by tomorrow. Okay. Now, if I can just keep it just right underneath the nut there. Let's see how this is going to work. Is it going to be zoomed in too close, maybe? Uh, almost. I'll just have to... If I just keep it underneath the nut, it should be good. But you know, time has slipped away on me here. Um, I'm going to call it a day. So, uh, and we'll go at this again later this afternoon, which you will see tomorrow. So, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.